Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, those of you on TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook platforms. I'm T. Clay. Walk with me. We're in the Book of Jubilees, chapter 1, and we're going to continue in verse 21. But first, let us pray. Oh, most holy, even Tata and Zambi, we thank you for all that you've done. Thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your favor. We thank you for all that you've done. We thank you for the new friends. We thank you for the new people that we have met over a stretch of time. Some are faithful, some just there for a season and not a reason, and some have been just a friend indeed. Yes, and some have been even been closer than a brother. We thank you for those things. And most holy, Sanini, Nanini, even Tata and Zambi. Yes, Yahweh, Yahuwah. We thank you for all that you've done. We thank you for that you have exposing all kind of leadership. You're exposing, you're getting rid of leaders. You're getting rid of, you're cleansing. Even the, the, and that we, we have called that we should be. Those who follow God as dear children. Not this one and that one, but those who follow God as dear children. Follow God as dear children as it would say in that new or in that other testament yes 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 to follow someone as they follow christ as long as they follow in that christ i don't know but yet we are very sure that god never changed that you never changed hallelujah and we thank you we ask you to open up open up help us in our minds and our hearts that we might turn to you that we might turn to your statutes, judgments, uh, even your ordinances and your law. Oh, yes, so oh, most holy, Sanini Nanini. We ask you to deal with us in those matters, that regardless of whether we're in the jungle or in the city alone with no friends and everybody's walking contrary to your word, that we might even keep that which you have charged us to. Yes, and hold you as holy and hold you as dear and hold you as serious. Yes, even to our own hearts, that we do not falter in our way and even in your way, which is our way. And even with that, our enemies shall be subdued and we shall be victorious because you are victorious. And we thank you. Yes, yes, yes. We thank God for you, you and you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We thank God for those who've been following us all the way from the book of Revelation. And we thank God for those who have joined in between. And we thank God for those who subscribe and followed even today. And those that will subscribe and follow. And we give God the glory. We can be shadow banned, head banned, and everything else. But we know that the word of God will get out. Hallelujah to those who it is purposed for. And we thank God for it. And we thank God even for you. And we clap and say thank you. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is all for you. All for you. All for you. Ah, don't follow me. <laughs> With all the stuff coming out, don't follow me. You better follow those lies, judgments, statutes, and commandments. These are the things which got Israel into trouble. Even the children of Akobi. It got them into trouble because they, the desires of their heart was continually evil. And even in our days now, we know if we dig deep down, we have evil insights, those things that have given to us by spirits and all kind of messed up stuff. That, But then we say we must always pray that prayer, creating me a clean heart, renewing me a right spirit. And God said he will do so. He's going to do that. Not that he's going to do it anyway, but he want to see how, how serious you are with him. Yes. He's not just going to, oh, ta-da. No, you got to make some struggle, baby. You got to make some struggle. Yes, you're going to have to make some struggle. God is not going to sit up there and just make you out of a robot. You have a choice, just like the angels. It is evident that they had a choice also. Yes. Now, we're coming from the book of Enoch, the book of Enoch, chapter 1, and we are continuing in verse 21. Yes, and it reads... But they are thy people and thy inheritance, which thou hast delivered with thy great power from the hands of the Egyptians, creating them a clean heart and a holy spirit. In other words, a mindset to do that which is right before the Most High. And let them not be ensnared in their sins from henceforth until eternity. 
You know, God, give them a steadfast spirit. Create in me a steadfast spirit that I might do that which is right every day, regardless of what situation I'm in, regardless of what I win, what I lose, what walks away and what comes in, that I remain the same with you. That's what he's talking about. Yes. He says in verse 22, and the, I am said unto Moses, I know their contrariness and their thoughts and their stiff neckness. And they will not be obedient till they confess their own sin and the sin of their fathers. Now, you're going to have to look at this. You're going to have to look at your own self. Be honest within yourself before the most high. Be honest with yourself in your most the deepness of your hearts, the darkness of your hearts. Be honest. He said, for if we confess our sins, he is just faithful and just to forgive us. And also, what else did he say? If we should turn away, when shall I say to the wicked? In the day that he turn away from his wickedness, that his wickedness shall be remembered. Huh? Come on here. Now, he said, confess your own sins and the sins of your father. If you know yourself to be a children of a Kobe or even your father, those who have slayed, those who have maimed, and those who have tortured and, um, and done many things according to their own lust and desires, confess them. Confess them. Yes, confess them to the Most High. I know my father was messed up. I know my mother was messed up. I know that my ancestors have slaved and they have done many hideous things. But to this day, you can say, I give myself to you. Most holy, Sanini Nanini, even Tata and Zambi. I get, I give up my idols. I give up my Christianity. I give up all these things that are contrary to you. These crosses. Yes, yes, yes. These images, these pictures that I turn to when I worship or I think about when I'm worshiping. Yes, you have to, th you have to go deep. Go deep. When God sees the man is truly repentant, oh, you don't know the glory and the anointing that shall come over your life. Yes. And he says, now, and after this, they will turn to me in all of rightness and with all their heart and with all thy soul. Now, this is what God is talking about. And I shall circumcise the first skin of their heart and the foreskin of their heart of their seed. Now, see, circumcision is just an outward thing. What he's talking about is your spirit, all those things that your flesh feels and it gets into your spirit and then you go after it. This is what he's talking about. And I shall create in them a holy spirit. And I shall cleanse them so they, they, they shall not turn away from me from that day until eternity. Forever. Eternity. See, God wants you. He wants you so much. Now, and their souls will cleave to me and all my commandments. See, Israel, that was just the beginning. Israel coming out of Egypt. That was the beginning. Now, here's a people that's going to be testized, ostracized, put down as low as the dirt, hung as low fruit. Heads chopped off, some of everything, babies snatched out of the stomach. But yet God is trying to find, see, these other nations are not going to go to that route. But he knows you. He knows you, Jacob. He knows that once you, after you have suffered a while, after you've done these things, you're not going to go back to those things that, 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 that plagued you. You're not going to go back to your idols and your Isises and all these other things that have caused you to error before the Most High. He's not going to do that. He's not going to allow that stuff to happen. No, 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 no. He got you where he wants you. The Red Sea, the Reed Sea, is not where it ended at. Yes, he already knew what was going to happen from there. Now, he says there's going to come a time where he's going to give you a clean heart. He's going to cleanse the sons of Levi. <laughs> Woo, my God, yes, he is. Glory to God. Hey, I like that. He said, and they all will be called children of the living God. And every angel and every spirit will know, yeah, they will know that these are my children, that I am their father in uprightness and righteousness. So how do you make yourself, how do, how do we become a child of God? By doing that which is upright and righteous, that I love them. Love them what? I law them. In other words, the law is fair. The law, the law, the law, the law, the law, the ordinance, the statutes, the, ah, who, my God. Yes, he's talking about those things. He ain't talking about drinking no blood. He ain't talking about all that. Other. God doesn't deal with human sacrifice. That's devil. That's of demons. 
And do thou write down for thyself these words which I declare unto thee on this mountain first and last which shall come to pass in all the vision of the days in the law and in testimonies and in weeks and the jubilees unto eternity until I descend and dwell with them throughout eternity. Is Jesus coming to dwell with you? No. Who's coming to dwell? Yeah, Jesus is going to be there. That Jesus you call Jesus. But it's God, even according to the book, now, he's going to come. There was a seat in the mountains that Enoch saw. And the Most High came down in all his glory to dwell among those who have what? Have followed God in uprightness and in righteousness. Yes, doing what he says. It is serious, very serious. This book is going to show you some serious things that you need to take heed and follow with all your heart, mind, and soul. Yes. And first and the last, which shall come to pass in all the vision of the days and in the law and in the testimony and in the weeks of jubilees unto eternity until I descend and dwell with who? You, if you endure to the end, if you follow that which is right and be righteous before the Most High. This is what he's saying. And dwell with them throughout eternity. 27, and he said to the angel of the presence. Now, this angel of presence was also was mentioned in the book of Enoch. Right, for Moses. He told the angel of presence. Angel of what? The angel of the presence of the Most High. This angel spoke in many instances throughout the Bible. <laughs> you just don't know it. You think God spoke. But no, God spoke through the angel of the presence. Yes. From the beginning of creation till my sanctuary has been built among them for all eternity. In other words, that new heaven, that new earth, so he says. And the I am will appear to the eyes of all, and I will know that and all will know that I am, that I am of Israel, <laughs> of Jacob, and the father of all the children of Jacob, and the king on Mount Zion. Hey, come on, you Jamaican man. Yeah, Mount Zion. Hey, yeah, for all eternity. And Zion and Jerusalem will be holy, clean. I mean, this thing, ah, you just don't know the way I'm, 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 I'm just feeling this. I'm just feeling it. Yes, I know it's going to happen. It's, I'm just feeling this thing. And the angel of the presence who, sit, who went before the camp of Israel took the tables of the visions. This same angel of the presence, he was the fire by day and the cloud by night. <laughs> the fire by night and the cloud by day. We're going to put it that way. Israel took the tables of the divisions. Of the years from the time of creation of the law of the testimony of the weeks of the jubilees according to the individual years according to all the number of the jubilees according to the individual years from the day of the new creation and when the heavens and the earth shall be renewed and all their creation according to the powers of the heaven and according to all the creation of the earth until the sanctuary of the I am shall be made in Jerusalem. He's not talking about Herod's. He's not talking about Solomon's. He's not talking about Herod's. He's talking about that new sanctuary. And all the luminaries be renewed. He's talking about the sun, the moon, the stars shall be renewed for healing and for peace and for blessing and for all the elect of Jacob. See, Jacob has an elect within himself. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you think everybody that's called themselves Israel is Israel, or they, they are the elect. There's a whole nother avenue, a whole nother gate, a whole nother road, small and tiny. And the only way you're going to get there is righteousness. You can call yourself Jacob all day and sin just like the devil and the demons themselves. And thus it may be from that day and unto all the days of the earth. See, God got a way that you can't go over. God got a way that you can't go under. But you got to come through at the law. <laughs> Glory to God. Yes, yes, yes. I like taking and sublimating those Christian songs and making them. Uh, God, they're really inspired. They're very good. But I'm going to take them. Yes. I don't care what you say. God is good and God is great and God is all in all. And with that, we're going to say to the righteous and those, the elect of Jacob. Peace.